Wednesday, May 9th, 1210 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, I've got some new information from the big event going on out on the big island of Hawaii. Something occurred last night around 6 p.m. local time, Hawaii time. So um, I'll get to that here in just a moment. But first, I want to show you some pictures from the Kilauea Volcano Summit. The one on the left is from a month ago, back in April, April 6th to be exact. And normally, when you come to this website, it's a webcam. The link is below in the description box if you want to come check it out yourself. Um, this is a screenshot I took back in April. And normally, this is what it looks like in the thermal HD view. It's normally near the top. Sometimes it fluctuates, you know, a few feet, but never too far from the top like you see over here on the left. This is from 48 hours ago. It's dropped several hundred feet almost out of the view of the camera. These images are from this morning. The lava is now officially out of the view of the camera. You can no longer see it. There's also a plume of smoke or something rising from the summit, but as far as the lava goes, you can't see it anymore. So it's still plummeting and it's on the move. Right now, things are kind of quiet at the moment on the big island. It's kind of like in a lull period. It's done this before, and then action is picked back up, forming new vents. Right now, the official total is 14. There's also a new map that's been put out by the uh, hawaiicounty.gov. I'll post the link to this as well, along with this website here. It's a good source for information. Um, they are also talking about the summit lava about to disappear and it has in fact disappeared so that means it's still on the move and this is far from over guys these volcanic events can go on for um, quite some time and what we're seeing here is a very extraordinary event and it involves people and people's lives and you know I don't know I, it, it's difficult to watch someone's home be devoured by lava it's just difficult to watch. So there's a there's a man out there by the name of Ikaika Marzo. He's been trying to help members of the community. This is uh, his home community. He was born and raised here. So he knows most of the people that are being affected by these uh, new fissures um, and the lava flows. So good guy. Um, in fact, that's where we're going to get the update from here in just a moment. But I wanted to show you this map. And you can see the, the green triangles. They represent new vents and right now the total is 14 the orange represents lava this also tells us there's no electricity in the subdivision of leilani um, something occurred though last night and it happened up the road this is highway 130 that extends from leilani estates down to black sands uh, beach subdivision gentlemen heard something very loud last night around 6 p.m and then his house began to shake and it shook for a long period of time what he did was he drove from this area here as the crow flies let's measure it real quick this is black sands it's where you heard this uh, loud noise and then his house began to vibrate about four miles from Leilani where the vents are at right now so his concern was had another vent opened up another fissure so they have an information center set up here in uh right near leilani estates ikaika is usually there he's trying to help people and keep things coordinated and, and getting people information as he can he was one of the first guys out in the field as these fissures began to open up so a lot going on you've got uh, sulfur dioxide you have to contend with that's a very toxic gas that comes from these fissures and volcanoes in general but listen to what this gentleman has to say right here he's the one that felt and heard this event last night around 6 p.m. Hawaii time so this is a new update want to confirm he came over here um, kind of wondering for looking for answers and wondering what's going on and you know just asking some some questions so He's very concerned because he, he see he heard that boom, and I'm gonna have, turn it over to this is my friend Lance, right here. Hello, good evening. How's it going? Tell him what you heard, man. And yeah, what 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 street you live on? 
I live on Aloha and Puna and Black Sand subdivision uh, behind the Forest Reserve. And around quarter to six, ten to six, we heard a large explosion out back towards the Sanford uh, Black Sands quarry. And then about five to six, five, seven to six earthquake. And then shaking constantly until it left. And we called USGS and they said there was an earthquake, but they couldn't tell us what size. Said that things were safe to go back. And um, I'm up here searching for answers for the community of Black Sands and Kalapana to make sure that it's safe to go back to our families. That's why I came to speak with Kai, but he knows what's going on. So there you confirmed it. A uh, resident from the subdivision confirmed that there was a, there was a, a something happening up there. Something did happen up there, according to that gentleman, and the area that he's talking about is Black Sands subdivision, which is right here. That's Aloha Road. This is Black Sands subdivision. This is Leilani Estates, 14 vents run this direction, and they're pointing right towards Black Sands. So that's why this gentleman was, you know, he was concerned for multiple reasons, but the direction these things have been moving is in the direction of Black Sands subdivision. So, um, Ikaika's Facebook page you can find in the description box below. Good guy, good source of information. Um, this is also the link that you can find the webcam that overlooks the summit at Kilauea. And you can see lava is no longer visible. I have never seen it that low. So that tells us that lava is still very much on the move. There's another look at it here. It's out of sight. You can no longer see it. Um, I'll post this map. This is from the county out in Hawaii. And it's got a lot of good information on it. They keep it updated. I've noticed uh, they're very prompt with updating this. And it does show 14 now. 14 vents. If you're uh, interested in the... SO2, which is the sulfur dioxide. You can find that information here at the website, MrMBB333.com. That tab is on the lower right-hand side of the website where it says CO, CO2, which is carbon. You click on it, you can switch it over to sulfur right here. Click on the Earth tab in the lower left. When it opens up, that's all real time, click on the SO2 tab right there. That shows you SO2 data. Then click Earth again so that that goes back down. Go to Hawaii. And you can see which direction the winds are blowing, which direction the sulfur is going. So this is very toxic, and that's another concern. You know, not only the earthquakes, which there's over 3,000. Um, there's been over 3,000 in the last, uh, what, seven days? Is that where we're at? 3,300 now. 3,300 earthquakes in seven days in this area alone. In fact, there's been three or four earthquakes since I've been doing this video. I don't know how they keep them separate, one from another. But this will show you the direction that the winds are blowing and it's carrying the sulfur dioxide, which is very toxic. That, again, is another concern. And that's um, something that you have to stay away from. You know, you have to wear a mask, if you, especially if you're downwind from it. Also, that can create acid rain. And that's just another concern, along with the many other concerns that are currently underway on the big island um, out in Hawaii. So all of this information you can find below in the description box, the link to the website. Again, the sulfur information is down here on the lower right-hand side. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Click on the tabs below for updates out in Hawaii on the big island. Lava no longer visible from the Kilauea Volcano Summit. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.